Good to see you guys. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, some sports loving Nigerians have raised concerns over the low level of support the current Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman is getting after retaining his belt recently against Cuban American fighter George Mas Vidal. AIT's combat sport expert Osi Ugu, who incidentally is a producer, went to the streets and to some offices in Abuja to sample the opinion of on Kamaru Usman as the UFC champion. These Nigerians are clamoring for the increase in moral support for the Nigerian-born UFC champion, especially by sports patrons from his home state, Edo, which he has never shied away from. The social media has not um, highlighted his achievements as much as they should have. In this age, we're in the information, digital information technology age, and it's through the digital information systems we get people to actually know a lot about people. Uh, this post is more in the US right now, Brazil and other places. But it's growing. It's growing. And as it grows, Nigerians will get to know more about it and the support will increase. Uh, it's actually a slight on the, uh, on the, on the minister, uh, minister of uh, Sports that he has not done that, nor has he delegated uh, no official statement on it. I want to beckon on him to do that. And if that will encourage uh, pockets of Nigerians who want to do sports generally to step out on their own and make name for this country. Send a delegation to these guys, or if possible, let them invite them over to say thank you for, for making us proud over there. Miss Marshall Arts is slightly not popular in Nigeria, but Nigerian can boast of two world champions already from fellow competitors living in the diaspora in the presence of Kamal and New Zealand based Israel Adesanya. They stated the need for the sports ministry to start talent on and scouting for young and future fighters like the two champions. We should be able to help the upcoming uh, martial arts uh, to uh, achieve their own objectives. That, in conjunction with the Ministry of Sports, I think the private sector should come in and then even if it's only at the Federal Capital Territory and in Lagos, we get a proper standard boxing ring so that they can actually train properly. That would go a long way. The National Stadium, I believe, should be privatized soon, or I don't know if it's going to be a public-private partnership with the government. Put up a lot of resources and invest heavily at the roots so that most of all these boys can be good right from primary school to secondary school. As they do a visit to Nigeria, they begin to show them about television houses, they do, uh, uh, they, they, they have various interviews. Interest will come naturally. And then we can have them stay, speak on television, on the radio to say, look, this game, any young Nigerian who wants to participate, these are the qualities you need to do. But with Nigerians already setting an every pace for other African nations to follow, it's just a matter of time for the frenzy of the UFC to be massively fed nationwide. OC Ugu, AIT News, Abuja.